Uh, hello everyone! Today we are going to continue on our storage solution of our turtles. This is episode 10 already of our series about computer craft in Minecraft. Like I just mentioned, we are going to work a bit more on. Like I just mentioned, we are going to work a bit more on our storage for our turtle. A turtle does have a limited amount of storage spaces, and we want to make that as efficiently as possible. And in the previous episode, we did that with ender chests. They are a bit expensive, so not really viable for the early game. Um, so we are going to uh, spruce it a bit up to use. The, so we are going to spruce it up a little bit and make it able to work with normal chests as well. They do need a little bit of a different behavior, like we have spoken of on the last episode. Um, so that's what we are going to make right now. I think a lot of that we can actually copy paste from what we did last time. It's kind of the same behavior. We just need some different statements and places where to actually place it on. And we mentioned that we want it to work below everything and we don't need it to dig anymore um, since that would pick up the chest once again well that would leave a big mess also i've seen if a turtle does refuel it still selects slot 16 and on its own that's not bad or anything but if your fuel would run out for some reason and then it might give some weird complications. So after this refuel statement, we are let's do that actually here outside of everything. Next slot on one again. Why now? For now, that's our default slot. Maybe that's going to change at some point. And same is true, of course, if he has done any kind of story, which will be here, I guess. If, uh, yeah, that's all that select not a one would make life a bit neater, I think. Uh, and this one. Will be too true. So if it is true, then it will do a lot of stuff below it. Um, let's see how this is going to work. Um, it might be handy that it mines down first <laughs> before it tries to place something down. Okay. That's all that dig down that should solve it <laughs> and another thing is if there are like only three items in the turtle then it doesn't really need to put it inside of a chest a chest is a bit expensive especially in the early game um, so wasting all that wood on it is maybe not a bad or not a good idea. Also, you cannot place more than two chests beside one another, as then it will try to form a big chest. You cannot place two normal big chests uh, beside each other. So that would, uh, well, not really behave like it should be. But that's uh, that's a different objective. I think for now it's already a good start that we can actually detect if it is necessary to store items, which is luckily not that difficult. We have it all fine. So all of this 
should only happen if there is an item in slot 14, I think. So if there is a turtle thing for, help turtle, I believe it is detect or get item count. You know, one of the two. I think detect is to find if there's an item in front of it. Hmm. Interesting. Events fired by Turtle API can happen. Turtle inventory when any of the items in the inventory are changed. Use compar comparison operations to inspect the changes. Okay. Actually, adding an item inside of the inventory does already fire an event. That's quite handy. But I didn't find what we uh, are here. And get item count. So that's how many that are in there. And space is exactly how much space there's still left in that slot. And detail is. I think something we have to go into detail at some point. The get item count was what we needed. If turtle dot get item count of slot 14. Yes, 14. Um, actually, it's bigger than zero. So if there is something, then we need it to store. It will everything in here, of course, and we need one more end in this line. Well, let's see what it does this time. It should do nothing. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. And it didn't store. That's good. I think now I will just let it go for a while and at least talk about where we will go from here. Since there are quite a lot of st things that we can do. Well, now, first of all, I noticed that we have slot 14, 14, and 14 on different places. It might be handy to make some more variables for that. Uh, local last slot equals 14 for now. Might make it handy later on. For example, if you want to do something with torches, an idea. Uh, this 15, that one should be there. 14 last slot. Like one is something that always needs to happen. That's good. And yes, 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 yes. Yeah, let's get that script going for. Let's do five. Give it a bit more fuel. And I think by then we should at least see one chest storing action. Um, this should do most of what we want right now. <laughs> and of course, there's one more setup thing that we need to do. Which is actually to check if we are going to place chests that are actually chests in the slot when we start our setup. Um, I think we have a check parameters. I think we can also add a function check inventory. Function check inventory 
and and that's just going to exactly do what we want it to do. For that, we are going to experiment a little bit with what that uh, get detail item or function is in the Turtle API. So let's not go too far already and just start at the basics. So if uh, brave, no, not brave. Config dot use chests uh, equals uh, true or config dot use chests equals oh yeah, uh, ender or config dot use just equals ender ender then uh, I think we can also make a variable for where which slot the chest is actually chest uh, slot and for now we have that on 15 slot for chests and we can implement that later oh, already done oh, it's filling up let's do it for another five times oh. <laughs> Of course, we are doing something in here. Just need an end. Um, I've been wondering how for how long it's going to work now. Maybe we need to do a check for that as well. Um, if all of that there, and if turtle dot dot select uh, config dot oh, that's water that's not good oh, okay that's kind of all right uh, config dot chest slot yeah chest slot and this doesn't need to be in an if, since this will just return a true if turtle.get item count is bigger than zero, then it will be alright. If it is equal to zero, then uh, Actually, you have error here. Error uh, need in a string, of course. Need chests to start the name. There's a bit of a brute force method, but it does work really, really well. Let's fix this water issue. Oh, it's okay. At least something else than I was thinking of. Also an issue that's going to resolve itself at some point. I'm just curious if he's going to place a chest, because that's all that we are testing right now. So that should all be working, working, working. It's finished. Oh, oh, that's where something went wrong. Okay, that's all right. Let's do it one more time. And it just started mining. 
Yeah, okay, the inventory isn't filled up all the way, so... I guess that is kind of alright-ish. Despite the fact that it might not be exactly what we want. Ooh. We do something in the... Oh, okay, we did make the turtle that clock. Okay. So now it is filled up. Let's see what it does. Exactly what we want. And it does continue. Great, great. That's precisely what we want. Just to, for the sake of, we are in Minecraft, we need to light up the place, which is also something I want to include in our script. But not for today. So now that is going down. I think we have tackled our storage problem. We have tackled this. And there should not be anything in here. So it should give us an error now. And it doesn't. That's interesting. So what is going wrong here? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Not that much, actually. <laughs> uh, brave dot check in the story. We didn't ask for the function to happen. Oops. Another try. Now it does give something else. We broke something in the Brave API. Online 22. Typo. It can happen. And we get an error message back. Great. Which is exactly what we wanted. Okay. Okay. But maybe we can make it a bit clever. No, we actually can't. I don't have enough information right now. I was thinking of, you can also check if there are enough chests. But that's not something we uh, actually know. You never know if there are enough chests. And sometimes you have more items that you need to store. Sometimes you have less items. That's just really difficult to predict. But at least now we have something. And of course we need to set it back. At slot one. Like slot one. Okay. Um, and we can use this config, of course, in also our store items function. Um, as well. And uh, when we mine the chest, I think it's rather nice to select. Uh, that slot as well. Total, that. Okay. So that will add itself to the original chest stack. Uh, instead of ending somewhere random into the inventory oh wait we can't actually that of an in case of an ender chest is that will give a different item back than you placed it initially and that's uh, actually an issue with our current mod version but i kept it in there since it does add a bit more of a difficulty So that's, uh, that's rather awesome. So this store, it is mining, it is doing everything that we need it to do. It's storing items. Uh, I'm a bit curious to see what happens if we want, we are going to leave this running for a longer distance. Let's do uh, 20 for now. It's far, far more than we have seen so far. Um, which will get, I think, about the same distance as we have 
done right now. The last 10 episodes. The progress wise that would be great. And I think for this episode that would be uh, about the end. A bit of a shorter episode on this one. But at least it will give me a bit of a the time to explain what is going to happen on the next few occasions. Uh, of course we will see and discuss what this uh, test is going to give us for information. And after that we are going to look into wireless connections. And above all make that a bit more future proof. Because in the past I've used wireless connection quite a lot. But I did figure that some things uh, you need to think a bit more about it before you implement it. And one of the things is that I always used one small indicator as a first message, which usually was a string or just a computer ID. And then as the message itself, just one string. So you could send only one value every single time. I think that can be a bit more cleverly organized with a table. So everything around tables, converting tables, sending tables, that's what we are going to do in the next episode. So for today, we made uh, well, the turtle a bit more intelligent by uh, learning how to store items in chests. We do that a bit cleverly. And I hope you have enjoyed this, uh, learned something from it, and maybe even start programming yourself. Uh, have a good day, evening, night, whatever it is when you watch this, and see you next time. Bye bye.